Hare Krishna Mugla Pru. Welcome Hare to the Monks Krishna. podcast. So nice Thank to have you, you here. Thank you, Prabhuji. It's a great honor for me because <clears throat> personally, I am learning so much from the Monks podcast. I strongly recommend to all the preachers and all the devotees who really want to become more mature in their understanding of Krishna consciousness, whether it is a practical application or preaching application, because uh, you bring out the best of the experience from the best of the devotees with their best of understanding uh, in their respective services. So beautifully, Prabhuji. Especially, I, I like the way you and the you sum, you sum up everything at the end. That's that's so lovely, actually. That's so complete. And uh, I also take so much learning from your websites like the spiritualscientist.com, which is an amazing compendium of so many wonderful uh, concepts being so beautifully answered, Prabhuji. And uh, the Gita Daily. Dot com is also my resource for my Bhakti Shastri. Whenever I'm delivering Bhakti Shastri, my first resource after Shri Prabhupada's Bhagavad Gita as it is, is the GeetaDaily.com. And of course, Chaitanichan.com, that is also a very good website. Prabhuji. Your books are very good, very, very inspirational. So much to learn from these books, your audios. You have answered more than 5,000 questions. My God. No, so, that's, that's really I let me introduce you. You don't have to <laughs> introduce me over here. So, I just want to give my gratitude to you, Prabhuji, from past mm-hmm. more than two decades. I'm hearing you and I'm learning from you. So to come to this platform, to the, the Monks podcast, where I'm a small student, where I'm learning from you and so many great devotees, Prabhuji, to come here on this platform, it's a great, great honor for me. I feel very small that here my teacher is here, my Shiksha Guru, uh, Chaitanya Chaitanya Prabhuji is there and uh, Prabhuji, so that's why I should be, in fact, there should be role reversal. I should be asking questions. I should hear from you. But it's, it's your humbleness and your kindness that you that allowed me to come. Thank you so much, Prabhuji. Sincere gratitude to you for your wonderful services from past more than two decades. It's really extraordinary. Thank you, bro. Happy to be of service. And, uh, you know, I believe that uh, we met about maybe 10, 11 years ago. Once I think what? you had come to Pune. That was our first meeting. Yes. Maybe more than 12, 14 years ago, sometime. Yeah, and then uh, we met a few times when we came to Delhi. And mm-hmm. whenever I had time to meet his old Gopal Krishna Maharaj, we would discuss yeah. about how the preaching in Delhi is expanding. Yes. And it is, I think, we could say in the last two decades of our movement, mm-hmm. I think the Delhi outreach would be one of the biggest success stories of our of our movement. Yes. Mm. A lot of things have been happening in various parts of the moment, but the Delhi outreach is spectacular. And parallel with that, your personal classes. Many devotees have told me that your classes are wonderful. That, But I think we don't really get to hear classes till this whole social, till, till our movement took off on social media. They have to go yeah. out a little off and go, go out of the way to hear anybody's classes. But in social media now, it's coming up oh, yeah. very, very widely. And... Uh, in one sense, um, we have different devotees presenting Krishna consciousness on social media with varying degrees of reach. Uh, what I appreciate about you is three things. You are presenting straight Krishna consciousness. Mm-hmm. Although, so you have an attractive style. Uh, you have a, you could say a vibrant energy with you when you present. But at the same time, it's like your direct Krishna consciousness you are presenting. Now, yeah. now, there are different devotees who can sp- present different aspects of Krishna consciousness. Some from the self-help direction, some from the more uh, n- narration of Leela direction. But you are presenting Krishna consciousness directly. And the fact that you are able to attract such a significant audience through direct presentation indicates multiple things. First is, of course, your capacity to present it attractively. Second is that there is also a need and a hunger for direct devotional content also, direct devotional spiritual content. That is something which I would like to explore with you. Another is that it's not while your outreach through is very significant, it means become very noticeable, but it's also reflective of the overall significant outreach that is happening. So it's like the you could say the tide is rising in our outreach, and maybe you can say you are the highest wave within that tide or the most visible wave within that tide, at least on the social media. So, so it's both ways. So it's in that sense, it's uh, one of the things with somebody who becomes very visible in social media is, okay, somebody becomes attracted, what after that? How are they going to be connected and cultivated further? Yes. So when you are already a, you are, you are already a, uh, seen as a devotee and you are a part of a community, then the subsequent journey, mm-hmm. it's like from Shraddha towards next steps, mm-hmm. Bhajana Kriya, Sadhu Sangha, mm-hmm. uh, th- those become easier. 
Yes. So, yes. so I think that is also something which is very sign- second part which is significant, and third is that you also address contemporary issues, yeah. and <laughs> you know, huh? in general, I sometimes use the word contemporary is equal to controversy. Oh. <laughs> 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 generally if you just speak on shastra the uh-huh. scope for controversy is not so much oh yeah but if you get, get into contemporary issues controversies to sometimes are un, sometimes are unavoidable yes yes and yes. then how we deal with them is also a challenge oh yes so you, so in that sense you are not afraid of that you, you are not af- there is, see there is caution but there is also like paralysis because of too much caution oh yes so you are, you are able to address the contemporary issues i think you are the way you address this uh, this in bangladesh attacks was very good you know without without criticizing any particular religion you pointed out how this is this is not what any what kind of god would want anything like this oh, yeah. so it was very very intelligently done so i feel that we all learn through experience how to address contemporary issues and i can see that astuteness is coming in you so it's Thank wonderful you. to have you here ru I'm learning from you, Rudi. Actually, I saw your video on Bangladesh. I took the content from there. <laughs> I'm just a stealer. I'm a thief. <laughs> you know, sometimes I say, "Parapara, there is no copyright. To copy is the right." Is the right. <laughs> <laughs> so I also copy from different people. <laughs> hmm. So maybe, bro, we can start with uh, your your journey. So you were introduced. How were you introduced to Krishna consciousness, and how did you eventually take up uh, online outreach specifically? Okay, uh, how I came from it's a long story, but I'll just cut it short. That uh, I had spiritual inclination. Reason being, I could see that uh, God has given me so much, but I have not uh, given anything back in return as a reciprocation. So any new achievement in my life would come would suffocate me. So that's why. So this was building in. So secondly, and I had attraction for the Gita because in NCERT there used to be Gita shloka, a chapter was there. So Chanchalam hi mana Krishna pramati varavajranto. So this shloka it really captivated my mind because. my mind is actually chanchal and stubborn mm-hmm. so i could see that here is something which is speaking about my inner world so attraction for the gita started from ncert book and then uh, thirdly i want to do something for humanity <clears throat> so mm-hmm. earlier my plan was to become very rich and serve the poor people but i could see that people are suffering less because of body but because more because of the mind so i should mm-hmm. do uh, i should serve the mind to the people but how to do that i had no answer for this later on when i read the gita of course uh, other than shripa pas version of the gita i could see that yes it is really very invigorating it is very uplifting for the mind but of course shripa pas bhagavad gita was very most impressive reason being here i could see that author is very much he is addicted to god and he wants to give god to people through his writing so in this way so uh, these three things were there my my desire to uh, uh, as a reciprocation of gratitude towards god Mm-hmm. uh so i should reciprocate secondly uh i could see the people are suffering i should serve them and my 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 love for the gita so mm-hmm. in this way so i i left after 12th class when i passed my 12th standard in search of god so i met some of the spiritual teachers here and there finally i reached iskon i got all the answers to all my questions a uh, very impressive questions very very impressive answers authentic scientific answers so in this way i got convinced and then uh, afterwards of course, of course i came back i joined as a monk in the year 2000 so i stayed for few months learned some basic concepts came back to home did my computer science in uh, graduation and then worked outside in in the corporate sector and then because i had the desire to become monk because i had experienced it <clears throat> so that's why I joined once again after, after 10 years in 2010 back again as uh, the as a monk uh, monastery in in iskon east of kailash served there for 3 years and then in the 2013 i was transferred to iskon dwar as a vice president So now it's being like eight nine years in Iskon Dwarka. So thirteen years in Iskon East of Kailash, and then eight years or nine years here in Dwarka. So two thousand to two thousand twenty two. This is my journey. That's amazing. So two thousand means you must have been. Uh, this was after your twelfth. You said so. You must be very uh, young yes. at that time. I just passed my twelfth. Uh, I yeah. Oh, so must be seven sixteen seventeen. Is it? Seventeen. Oh yeah, eighteen nineteen. Probably I I just. Oh okay. That's amazing. So at that time I I chose Lord Shiva for a time being, but mm-hmm. later on I discovered that yes Krishna is the supreme personality of God, and Shivji is my guru who has given me Krishna. So it's like beautiful, that. wonderful. So yeah, I've heard about this journey on some of your talks earlier, but a uh, couple of things over here. When you mm, so you felt that the Gita would help you uh, to 
assist others in dealing with the problems of the mind yes uh, that was one major aspect of it yes 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 definitely so did that also shape the way you you pre- presented your classes and the way you started doing your outreach oh yes roji absolutely because uh, i could see that there are people who uh, on the name of our, um, motivational speaking they speak some of the concepts they are uh, connected to the bhagavad gita actually mm-hmm. everything is directly or indirectly connected to the bhagavad gita but they do not give credit to the bhagavad gita they have their own name but i could see that this is this is cheating they should give credit to the bhagavad gita so bhagavad gita actually it uh, it actually acts on the root so that's why when we speak authentically from the bhagavad gita and we see like your in your website you give such wonderful titles to all of your articles prabhu ji the title in itself is speaking so much and they are all coming from the bhagavad gita so gita daily.com in itself is a proof that all solutions can come from shrimad bhagavad gita actually Hmm. I don't know about Gita Daily dot com, but that's true. I think there are, you know, there is the content, and there is the presentation of the content in terms of contemporary language and contemporary concept. You could say conceptuality or contemporary way of thinking also. We just need to present appropriately. Yes. And the Gita does have, have wisdom that can address current issues. Yes. And. Uh, So your services, you said you were the vice. Were you always involved in youth outreach also in East of Kerala? What are we? How did you evolve towards the service of online outreach? Well, we actually it all started uh, in Mayapur Dham because at that time we had a strong desire tree. Hmm. So they saw me and they said, Prabhuji, we would like to shoot some videos with you. I said, Prabhuji, I am fool number one. I do not know anything. In East of Mayapur, there are so many intelligent devotees, realized devotees, senior devotees. You please make videos with them. But since they were very insist- insistent, so I said, okay, all right, just to please you, I'll do that. This and was which year, roughly? I'm sorry, Prabhuji. Which year was this, roughly? This was 2015, around Prabhuji. Oh, that was the time when Hari Krishna TV was just taking off. Oh yes, Prabhuji. Yes, yes, mm, yes. Yes. So, so then they shot some of the videos, and by Krishna's mercy, uh, people liked it. Devotees liked it. So again, they came back to Delhi to shoot some of the videos. So we shot around forty videos because we hired one hotel room and we gave six thousand rupees for the hotel. So we were thinking, you know, six thousand rupees. So let's take full advantage of this money. So we shot forty videos in a single day, and by Krishna's mercy, they were also liked by the devotees. So in this way, forty devotees, forty videos more were being shot. So in this way, uh, so the journey started, and uh, devotees were liking it. People were liking it. i also address some of the uh, like uh, uh, issues like uh, uh, iscon is an american organization who sends money to america it was nothing mm-hmm. at that time but but somehow by krishna's mercy that uh, it went very well so people could understand it and that's why it all started from there and then later on my ashray which is iscon east of kalash channel some people think that it is my channel it's not my channel it is iscon east of kalash channel and mm. i'm i may be called a superhero of the channel at the max but not really the owner of the channel but later on then my ashray came into being and then we started sh- shooting the videos for my ashray channel ashray basically is a, is like a contem- is contemporary version of bhakti vriksha so we made this my ashray as the the channel's name and then from there it took off further and where it is today it is growing my krishna's mercy around 1 1 million uh, uh, 1.2 million i we have subscribers in my ashray yeah it's phenomenal so in it is in 4 5 years that means oh yes roji so my ashray around 3 years back we started really 3 years that's yeah. amazing yeah roji oh, okay and uh, so normally do you select what kind of content do you put there or whatever classes you would uh, give you you put all of them there on my ashray uh, how is it uh prabhuji of course what we do uh, we see the what, what are what is running in the minds of the people in terms of some of the uh, mm. questions some of the ambiguities some of the uh, controversial things in uh, scriptures so this we seek and also we read the comments because people say you know we want a video on this topic so we go through the co- comment section as well mm. and then another devotee who is vigyan vihari prabhu who is a person behind the camera uh, he goes through all these comments and then he says prabhu ji now currently we, uh, this is running in the minds of people this we need to address so then we make a video on that topic so we cre- we always try to bring relevance uh, in our videos more and more mm. and that's all that's all that is also a reason why people like it that's that's true and one of the big advantages of social media you know that we could always discuss about the virtues and mm. uh, vices of it one of the advantages is that 
it uses a direct way to contact the audience to speak to the audience and also the audience to speak to us oh yes so that that is that is a big advantage as compared to say if you call it traditional media or like legacy media mm-hmm. even if somebody gets such opportunity to speak on tv mm, it's yeah. very difficult for people from tv to contact uh, to give any kind of feedback or comments even newspaper articles yes yes uh, so of course now in online newspaper articles you can have comments by the readers but yes. this is one big advantage yes so yes. so yes i seen that video about you know is in is con is con a western organization american organization yeah that's an interesting topic so uh, this uh, i was trying to think of broad genres in which you speak so yes. one is uh, uh, let me just quickly summarize my understanding and then you can elaborate sure. one is you could say misconceptions about is con itself yes second is you could say misconceptions about broad uh, vedic wisdom vedic wisdom vedic yeah. vedic culture yeah. yes. and then third is something like uh, issues in society today yes it may not be directly related with vedic culture of course you can say everything can be related with vedic wisdom but just issues in society today yes yes so these are the kind of content i have seen absolutely mm. can you share some other, po- other examples from what which of the videos did well and how you chose them uh of course like some of the videos who uh, which did well was one was on anger um this was very common that i am not able to control anger mm. so this topic uh, uh, was also hit and how to wake up early in the morning there are many people who really struggle to get up early in the morning so that also went to millions but uh, one problem which precedes even this problem is is how to sleep on time that's also another thing which people liked it and uh, uh, my parenting one where where i made the acronym p a r e n t s p for protection mm. for the glamour of kaliyuga a for association guard r for respect as a culture e for education e for expectations being realistic and for editing stories t for tolerance so p a r e n t s so that also became very hit uh, in fact rss people they invited me to deliver a session on on parenting all of my spiritual master gopal krishna maharaj when he came to know about this he said amog lila you are not married you don't have children and you are giving sessions on parenting <laughs> <laughs> that's true so parenting one was also a hit and uh, some of the similar few uh, uh, sessions they were they were liked by people mm-hmm. a lot where i am uh, addressing so it them. seems overall that's uh, it interrupt you that something like it's practical application of spirituality we can say Oh yes, Th- yes, that's the key thing. Even on my website, I have various categories, and the category which gets maximum hits is this. What it's a section I call practical spirituality. Oh yes. yes. So there is, there are philosophical controversies or philosophical concepts to be explained, but it's more than that. It's how things can be applied, and okay. how can we apply things. So that's 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 what is uh, what people are in general looking for. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. like one video on masturbation was also a very hit it uh, because other speakers other motivational speakers or some spiritual gurus were saying okay to it you know sometimes to do it that's okay instead of raping somebody uh, you are doing this that that's that's fine uh, even doctors they were saying okay yeah you know sometimes but i said something opposite to that and people mm-hmm. liked it people liked it so uh, i i received many emails because they are struggling with this habit so i i shared around 10 tips how to really take care of it and uh, one can gradually become free from it so that was also like by by people because they are struggling with this so mm-hmm. again relevance we have to create relevance in our presentation true and uh, when when we have these kind of topics being addressed uh, how do you cultivate people further is there some course which you have which they can join afterwards or is there a pathway for them to move forward after they become interested Yes, Prabhuji. Actually, we run one strip in the bottom of all my videos. Kindly register free of cost registration for a course, Spirituality for Modern Age. For that, they can go to www. dot revivingvalues. dot com. So there is one red color button. Register now, free of cost registration, and then they become part of SMA, which is Spirituality for Modern Age. So mm-hmm. and then they can they can. So every week we have one session, and based on that session we have Q and A. so in a way that means we have what two sessions in a week in sma so for example say if uh, does god really exist so second session would be does god really exist q and a because in that video we at, at the bottom we also give the google link so they can uh, posting their questions so we get the excel sheet with all the questions 
so we uh, take all these questions on a powerpoint presentation and then we have a studio small studio within our brahmachari ashram so on a powerpoint slide they can see the questions and i'm answering them question answer so in this way sometimes people send even 100 questions so uh, in this way they get their questions answered and uh, so this is a part, one part. this is one of the sessions or this is separate from the sessions so this, this is, is for one of the sessions we have got 30 sessions which are based on topic and then we go for bhakti shastri like bhagavad gita and uh, bhakti samar sindhu like bhakti shastri and then we will continue into shrimad bhagavatam chetra chetra so sma is going to be unending it would go on and on so this oh, how... so sma is not like a cyclic thing which uh, which is uh, it's you have a specific set of topics 30 topics which you keep repeating or there are different topics yes. every time yes prabhuji so we have got 30 topics that we deliver and after delivering these 30 topics mm. along with their q and a respective q and a's then we go for bhakti shastri now sessions q and a again sessions q and a so they, we continue with this format prabhuji so 100 question answers would take a long time isn't it yeah some yeah some of the uh, like beginning sessions the people ask a lot of questions later on the number of questions they decrease as they mm. get by the time they reach bhagavad gita almost all of their questions are done so uh, like in bhagavad gita we do not have much of q and a because mota mota all the questions are being answered but but this is how we do and um, we registered around 25000 uh, people in the course uh, so those who are continuing there around say 8000 to 10000 who are who have crossed all the levels uh, and we encourage them wherever you what are what are all the all the levels means means we like we have got all the 30 sessions they are into like level 1 level 2 level 3 level 4 and the level 5 mm-hmm. they get into bhagavad gita so they cross all the levels because we also got quiz they are to pass with 70% marks if they score 70% marks then they can go to the next level they can reattempt the paper they can do that but then in this way we check the sincerity also of the listeners so in this way they go to the next level and next level like that so this is how we do prabhuji and of course in between we also call them for some retreats because now it is all happening on impersonal media So we call them. Okay, we are having Vrindavan retreat. So those who want to come, they can kindly come. Amog Dilapu would be joining us. They uh, so this is how we we spread the news, and then they also join us, and then they can also personally interact with me, whether in Vrindavan, in Jaipur, or some other places. We we take to them. We have take them, take them for retreat. So this way, there is all also personal connection with them. This is wonderful. So this is mainly for uh, youth, or it's for everyone. Everyone, everyone. Oh okay. Yes. This so is, we uh, we we tell the devotees all those who are part of our SMA wherever you are living you connect to the local temple. Not that you know Amog Lila Pabu is your exclusive authority. He is your guruji. Exclusive connection to guru parampara. No, it is not like that. Wherever they are, they can connect to their local temple, contribute there, serve there, hear from there. Uh, but in between, they can be part of SMA spirituality for modern age. They can learn. they can ask questions but they should serve in their local temple like that see and so you are getting pe- people mostly from the delhi area from all over india or how is it yeah we all over the world probably all we have people who are, yeah from australia new zealand from russia from europe Wonderful. but they are come because of they are hindi speaking because the course is in hindi because my popularity is more in hindi uh, speaking uh, audience so that's why the course is in hindi so those who are even those who are indians who are staying abroad they enroll in the course but not uh, mm-hmm. but this course is not currently in english of course yes. for english we have you <laughs> <laughs> no i am inspired one of the things is that i was more of a uh, i speak more based on inspiration and specific topics i not designed systematic courses to take uh, audience for to take the audience forward from one level to another that is just the way i work but this is inspiring the way we have done it i think in Radheshampur was one of the first persons in our movement to have very systematic, structured, multi-level courses. So you have taken that to a much broader level. Sankarshan Prabhu, Sadhikari Prabhu also has done something online. Oh yes, uh, he is also very big. Yeah. At the same time, the so this SMA you started from when after two thousand seventeen eighteen or ten thousand students you have done in how much time? Yeah, Prabhu ji, we uh, enrolled these twenty five thousand students in total uh, in past one and a half year, Prabhu ji. One and a half years. Yes, yes, Prabhuji. Oh, okay. Like during pandemic time, uh, so we got a lot of uh, students. Now, of course, it is coming up because we also tell the students they can inspire others, their friends, and all. So, so it becomes a chain reaction, and more and more students can take uh, advantage of the course because it is free of cost. Oh, okay. That's that's wonderful. And wh- how how 
how much is the how many people do you say out of 10000 people do you have any way of checking how many people move forward in their spiritual journey and connect with the devotees uh, or anything like that yeah, so we have our local mentors prabhu ji so local mentors they are also in touch with them they can send their so they can send their queries and uh, they also tell us about tell us about their report and and they are sincere and the good thing about uh, internet preaching is that we don't have to work hard on creating interest in the person mm. already interested people they come so they do not, they do not need much of supervision much of attention much of counseling because they are already interested so that's that's the advantage of internet okay so the content of this course uh, this is not available on youtube this is people have to join for the course and they will yes. get it yes 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 okay and uh, what kind of topics do you take within this so we have got these seven day sessions and then apart from that from idol worship ideal worship we take from uh, your book prabhu ji uh, so these kind of topics are there so like about idol worship about service attitude about uh, krishna consciousness uh, versus social work so these kind of topics which we usually uh, deliver with the, with the with the youths so these are like commonly asked questions oh um, okay so we have these so these we have sessions around say 45 minute sessions uh and then we have q and a on based on that topic it's wonderful and uh, you conduct all the courses in this yes, yes. okay yes. we have a plan to introduce more teachers as well but later on so that when once people become stable yes right that's they can listen from you know other speakers as well and because they come because of me they came because of me that okay amogila who is going to teach the course so yeah. we also take care of that emotional part of theirs that they came for this reason so that's why i teach them till bhakti shastri and then as we will introduce shrimad bhagavatam to them then then we would ask you also we would also ask radhesh prabhu ji and some of the senior vaishnavas to come and address them in between also we have their sessions like we have some of their recorded uh, videos uh, in between uh, we also mm. give to them so that they can listen to other devotees as well this should not see that Uh, is con means amogila prabhu amogila prabhu means is con they should not have this <laughs> miss equation <laughs> no so. it's not a miss equation so there's it's it it has to move from specific to broad you cannot have broad initially because uh-huh. ultimately we are a personal tradition yes so yes. there has to be a personal connection so on an average uh, this sma series how, how many times have you completed this 30 set you know Uh, we are now we are in, in february we are going to start the third uh, third batch okay 30 means about it would take about 7 7 months or something like that oh yes yes so we in every 6 months or so as we see the the number is increasing so then we start a batch so like, in one batch roughly how many students do you get for one class like this if you have yes prabhu ji so in a first batch somewhere around 7 uh, to 8000 were there prabhu ji so in what platform batch, that's amazing what platform did you use then uh, youtube prabhu ji <laughs> Oh, it is streamed live on YouTube, but it's not available on YouTube afterwards. Yes, yes, Prabhu ji. Yes. Oh, okay, that's a uh, good. So you don't ha- need a separate resource. People yes. Also, don't need to do. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. And Bhakti Shastri also. Yes, I'm. Yeah, some students have come to develop Bhakti Shastri now. Ah, uh, yes, Prabhu ji. Currently, we are having Bhava. Uh, we are on Bhagavad Gita chapter ten. Hmm. So your general outreach you have always been doing in Hindi. Uh, so yes, your, in, English I, is also quite fluent, and I've seen you uh-huh. speak English now. Also, you're speaking, but I've seen many places. you speak in hindi primarily because that's the your preference or that's the audience need or both actually uh, in the beginning like when we, uh, during his fond desire tree days uh, i said okay should i speak in english they said no 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 prabhu for english there are many devotees we want some hindi wala person i said okay so because then hindi started so the momentum was into the then hindi direction so okay. so i then went to hindi so of course uh, english i am okay but hindi of course i am more bindas i'm more uh, i can speak as a you know as a, as a local hindi language i'm not very very mm. formal in my speaking hindi so uh, i like sometimes i use hindi uh, like sweet slangs like say for example say bhatura or say bhangdu and people like it <laughs> so so that's yeah. why hindi is <laughs> is a mm. thing but yes but but i'm learning so, from your lectures bro your your english is absolutely fabulous bro you have actually ornamented this language um really so poetic and so absolutely creative english language is honored uh, really by your blessings it's superb the way you present concepts uh, with absolutely right kind of words fabulous i don't know about that but ultimately we all have our 
particular areas which we use in service of krishna so for me just like a pujari will offer flowers to the deities so i think of words as like my flowers wow so the word that i try to offer to krishna i try to beautify krishna as much as possible through the words and uh, that's that's my service in one sense that's super classy prabhuji super classy absolutely fabulous so now when you so it's like what i had earlier said that you're space presenting in one sense direct krishna consciousness yes so so does this uh, lead to a certain amount so what kind of audience are you attracting is it primarily youth what education or have you looked at the demographic of the kind of people who are who come because in one sense uh if you have katha a lot of people come for that and that's a huh. it's a different demographic yes and then in one sense you can say what you are giving is it's, it's philosophy come practical so yeah. what kind of demographic are we attracting so uh probably primarily my focus is to focus on pious hindus there are many many millions and millions of pious hindus actually hmm. and uh for they are living in the material world as well so that's why uh so i i try to maintain that that balance that uh because they are pious already so that like for example mahabharat and ramayan series uh it received amazing amount of uh, applause and appreciation the reason being uh, people like mahabharat and ramayan and at that time a pandemic was happening so uh, ramayan and uh, mahabharat had the highest viewership so when i also delivered my sessions in a in a very uh, dramatic way <laughs> so people liked it so uh, mm. my focus was to attract the audience which is uh, pious hindus but sometimes i also address the atheist as well yeah and i and i know there are atheists they are not really very deeply atheist uh just because you know yes. because of education see, because in one sense of, in india if you see that there may be people who are very atheistic but those are not the kind of audience who even will consider coming to our programs there are more like people who are circumstantially atheistic absolutely prabhu ji yes mm, yeah. they have heard some things it's more of you could say natural piety is there but it's covered over by some intellectual misconceptions absolutely yes and we remove yes. the misconceptions and then yeah. then actually act on their piety yes mm. so that's why i try to address that section as well sometimes and they also like it um uh, yeah. i i'm not praising myself but uh, once i was there uh, i met some um students from delhi university and they were from the left wing you know these liberals and communist kind yeah. of uh, attitude and they were uh, 500 people actually they had this club and after listening to my lectures they said prabhu ji we have changed our ideo- ideology we have become more devotional actually just by listening to your lectures so what i'm saying is that the people are ready it is just that there is a very thin veneer very thin covering it just needs some addressing some logical answers and uh, with with a sense of care behind it that that really touches people and then they come actually in this way there are many many people they are they have changed their this aggressive anti hindu anti sanatan ideology and they have come to the fold of sanatan dharma as because we are addressing that part atheism or being agnostic uh, why god bad, did bad to me so this kind of some, some small small misconceptions are there so we address them and then very good results probably that's wonderful currently when you when we talk so sometimes we as a movement are seen a little bit as different from hindus and yeah. sometimes we seem to be very confronting other groups of other hindu mm-hmm. groups so how do you come how do you address that issue so uh, i was reading in propa liramit prabhu ji so the same question was asked to shri propa he said we just address the concept not the person so i also address the the concept or the misconcept which somebody is mm-hmm. presenting like somebody said well krishna and rama they are not entities they are just group of attributes so there are people i know okay. i'll not name yeah. them so but they say like that but when once we once we once we address so that particular audience which is following this kind of uh, ideology uh so then they they can connect with that yes actually this is nonsense that krishna and rama are not entities what an insult they are just group of attributes so i address to the conceptions like that so and then people connect it it works hmm wonderful like one thing which i address about sadguru so i was very respectful to sadguru as well when he said that mother ishoda her love became you know divine love while she it was not divine love so in a very humble way and i also prayed for him that his attempt to get this south indian temples into the the local devotees uh, 
uh, instead of the government. So I also prayed for him. And so with the, with with all humbleness, I, I presented. But at the same time, I also addressed the issue. So that was also liked by the devotees that here is a, a culture of respect, even though there is disagreement, but this disagreement has been presented in a humble way. Mm. So people liked it a lot. It is so important. The one of the things which I have recognized over the last few years, especially since when I started traveling abroad, especially that there are different aspects to people. Yeah. So that there, there's a cultural aspect. There is a social humanitarian aspect. There's a philosophical aspect. Uh, so some, so philosophically we may have, have different differences, yeah. but culturally we may, we will do work on similar causes yes, or yes. at a social level, we will do work on similar causes. Yes, yes. And that is something which we we can we can have shared interests with many other spiritual groups also and spiritual teachers also. Yep, so I think Prabhupada also when he met that Dr. Mishra of the yoga yoga studio. Yeah. yeah. You no, know, he said that he told Giraj Maharaj that culturally, philosophically, we we argue like anything, but culturally we are friends. Yes. Wow. So Good. That differentiation is beautiful. So you're already applying that. And uh, see, in general, with respect to the broader Hindu community, I feel there are three, four issues which come up. Mm. One is the our, our criticism of other other teachers. Mm. So I think people appreciate the fact that there are philosophical differences. Mm. So there's a difference between uh, between challenging philosophical conceptions and criticizing te- criticizing people at, as such. Yes, yes. So when the second is done, then it becomes a problem. Mm. The first is it can be done and India is known to be having a, a rich philosophical tradition. So that I don't think that becomes a big problem. Yeah. If you're just careful enough to differentiate between the two. Yeah. The second is say the worship of the devatas. So you mentioned earlier that you were, uh, for you Lord Shiva was your guru who brought in one sense, pointed you to Krishna. Yes. So how do you address the worship of the devatas? So I said that they are devotees of the Lord and devotees should be given all respect. So in case if we pass through a temple, which is of the demigod temple, we should bow down. Mm. We should seek their blessings that, oh, please, oh, great demigod, please bless me that I may become very sincere devotee of Lord Krishna. Like we may even pray to Mother Saraswati. Oh, Mother Saraswati, please bless me so that I become intelligent enough. Give me the right understanding of Srimad Bhagavatam. So, uh, Devi Saraswati Vyasam, so we also pray to Mother Saraswati. So, that's why we should pray to the demigods for pure devotion. So, we should not criticize them. Oh, they, you know, they are Sakam Bhaktas and this and that. Krishna is Supreme Lord. That is very immature uh, presentation mm-hmm. uh, of Krishna conscious philosophy. So, Krishna says that the demigod worshippers, they may not be, they are not so intelligent. Mm-hmm. That, uh, that those whose intelligence is stolen by the material desires. But he never criticized the demigods. Next. But sometimes immature preachers, they criticize the demigods as well. They are great personalities. Yes, true. So, and so even that, the worshippers of the devtas, yes. in one sense, we can say that they are less intelligent, but less intelligent is not unintelligent. Unintelligent, absolutely. You know, yes. They are also intelligent enough to recognize that there's some higher higher deity and it needs to be oh, yes. worshipped. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's true. Yes, yes, yes that's so true. So now, apart from that, one of the areas, I think this, this could be a major part of our discussion also now, that there is a lot of humanitarian work, which uh, in general, people expect religious organizations to do. Yes, yes. Because what happens is, like we earlier talked about practical spirituality, that as to some extent, society has moved away from, not entirely, but significant, not so many people are philosophically inclined. Yes. So they want to see what... Uh, what your movement is, your mm. tradition, your religion is contributing to the world. Yes. You could say contributing apart from conflict. Uh-huh. Religion, <laughs> religions are often seen as a source of conflict. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, in one sense, uh, uh, humanitarian work can be a distraction from spirituality, but it can also be a pathway to spirituality for many people. Mm. And I the exact term we may use is different, but one of the things which I believe that uh, also is, apart from the online outreach exp- expansion, I think there has been a lot of uh, outreach during the COVID time that has also happened during this. So sometimes our our criticism of humanitarian work leads to alienation of a lot of thoughtful people. As you said, pious Hindus also they want to do something good. So how has how has this been addressed overall? 
maybe first you can start with uh, what all was done during covid because that was a big thing oh yeah prabhu hmm. uh, so during covid uh, uh, pandemic especially wave 2 was very uh, very uh, deadly um, wave 1 of course was very expansive but wave 2 was very deadly hmm. and during this period when we help people giving them prashadam uh, so that was very very impressive in fact first time maybe the drone was was used by the devotees to deliver prasadam because somebody is staying in skyscraper building somebody is on 20th floor the lady is pregnant the person is old they cannot come down because they are quarantined and they cannot cook they cannot go outside because the shops are closed so it was it was a very precarious situation so in such a case we even delivered prasadam with drone and the drone goes to the 20th floor and then we go give a call hare krishna mata ji in your balcony there is prasadam what really <laughs> Oh my God! Certainly, God has sent this prasadam. <laughs> so this kind <laughs> that of was, was, I think that was viral on social media also. This that video. Should I release? So how many did you use? Actually, do use deliver using drones? Many drones. We we actually hired many of the drones. Many drones we hired. Oh really? Okay. And uh, we gave them training also to those who are transferring it, so that they do not mess it here and there. Of course, drone also has got this inbuilt system that it doesn't collide with something. when it goes near and then maybe say 5 meter or 10 meter or so then because it it stops even if you are pressing the button of the jockey but still it doesn't go uh, there so in this way we delivered prasadam prabhu ji and uh, so every day around uh, 5 lakh 16000 plates of prasadam has been distributed and india book of records they came and counted so somebody may say these is con people are exaggerating figures they are very expert in that but no we are not exaggerating here is a party who is outside is con india book of records they came and then they recorded that 5 lakh 16000 plates were distributed every single day mm-hmm. and wherever it was being distributed uh so over there kirtan was also happening not all, in all the places but uh, yes in many other places devotees were doing kirtan and distributing prasadam and we also used to have a stall of bhagavad gita anybody wants to purchase bhagavad gita they can come and they can also purchase that was also very good and we employed more than 1000 e rickshaws so we so these e rickshaws would carry prasadam to various places and uh, there would be a place that like those who are suffering from covid in the surrounding area they would come to this place make a queue take the food take the prasadam so and they could see that it is such a healthy prasadam it was not wishy washy attempt no it was actually very good quality prasadam which was was being served so they liked this as well and uh, kirtan was happening book distribution was happening so uh, the footfall uh actually increase in between when we opened the temple many people came just to say thank you actually wow. and we have covid care center in covid care center we uh we cured more than 2700 patients even with oxygen level 60 and what we were giving wait a minute that, wait a minute uh how did you cure means what you, medical facilities were provided yes, what you were yeah, medical facilities were. we have we, we had this college in college there is hostel because colleges are clo- closed so hostel is now available to us so we requested the uh, the college like deen dayal upadhyay college so they have a hostel there boys hostel girls hostel we mm-hmm. also have nsut netaji subhash university of technology so there also the hostels were available so we made we made the beddings we had some basic facility like for example say oxygen cylinders and all and uh, we used to give them very healthy prasadam with spices we used to give them prasadam as well and then uh, we also used to have kirtan with them a devotee would go and with ppe kit and would do kirtan uh, for them they going into each of the rooms and then doing kirtan and telling them about the holy name and all 2700 people who came to our covid center when they left they were having the beat back and they were chanting hari krishna mahamantra that we are so grateful to iskon that they have helped us in this difficult time and all of them they 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 were chanting in fact they were they were hesitant to leave they were saying no can't i stay for a few more days doctor would say but excuse me you are done you are cured there is no more covid in you uh three more days just three more days just three mm-hmm. more days and then they would stay there and then uh, they would relish the kirtan have prasadam of course we would give them a medication as well but in this way there was not even a single casualty not even a single casualty in fact government was very thankful to us that uh, the hospitals are already overloaded with so many patients and here is a facility which has been created that in case you are not very chronically ill you come to uh, escon's covid care center and then you get cured cured and that's wonderful in fact one of the uh, person who left our covid care center he went to the hospital he had to leave his body he was saying that the pay, the, the family members were thinking that we uh, would that he was there in uh, escon's uh, covid care center he was he was improving 
so we used to give them oh. prasadam and some medicines and kirtan and they were chanting hari krishna so many of them not even a single casualty in fact all the devotees who were involved in this project not even a single person got covid even though they were cooking they were distributing they were going there they were giving prasadam to the covid patients but not even a single person got covid this was in the second wave or the first wave or both as first wave probably first wave and second wave as well yes but primarily we distributed food in first wave because that was very expensive yeah so so that way we see that a lot of goodwill was being created when somebody asks us what you are doing for society when i was traveling in a metro train so one lady she challenged me you hare krishna people what are you doing for the society i said well we could distribute only 4.5 crore plates of prasadam that's only we could do not much she said what <laughs> 4.5 crore oh, really? so then she all, all all of that aggression which she had against iskon mm. it got mitigated in a second she said okay 4.5 crore so i said you can come i'm not exaggerating you can come and see our setup entire park we converted entire park into kitchen and anybody could come and see that if we are not exaggerating figures it is actually happening like that so a lot of goodwill happened all across the globe uh, people appreciated that yes they are not a sect a cult they also have heart they also mm-hmm. care for people and then mm-hmm. once they connect then then uh, you no know, once connect convey convince as you know prabhu ji so once connect happens and convey and convince take very little effort you know when then mm. when we tell them we are not the body we are soul they would say yeah 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 of course of course you saved my life thank you so very much yes we are not the body we are soul people accept the philosophy mm. as well so for connect this was required so samband abhidaya prayojan so samband happened this connect happened so abhidaya prayojan become mm. become easier because of the samband so was all this done through iskon or through some sister organization which was this forum that was formed as was this iskon directly through iskon itself Yes, and the credit goes to my my temple president, His Grace Pradyumna Priya Prabhu Ji. Uh, he actually took the initiative. He being very compassionate, he said, "I will get my money in case the donation would not come. Then I will get the money. I'll, I'll spend my own money." He's an he's an industrialist. He spent lots and lots, crores and crores of rupees of his. He even took uh, he borrowed money from his friend so that he can plan this. So it was a great sacrifice on his end. He planned it. That let's do it on on any level because currently humanity needs us. so uh, taking inspiration from shri prabhupad his role as gopal krishna maharaj he did this and that happened really very very well prabhu oh so was this uh, all the delhi temples or specific dwarka or how was it dwarka dwarka, dwarka specifically we did it prabhu ji all across india we distributed uh, around 6 crore 75 lakh plates of sanctified food prasadam uh, and dwarka alone distributed around 4.5 crores in all the three waves we distributed 4.5 crores it is still happening it's still happening oh now on now, now on lower scale of course but uh, 4.5 crores plates and this was uh, in the all over delhi or how far did you reach extent yes we primarily it was in delhi primarily it was but delhi is also a big place all over delhi or big, which part yes. of delhi delhi ncr is big big means wow. very big we have so all over now. delhi more or less yes all over delhi yes yes of course oh. yes yes and uh, so the, so the when the government you said that they appreciated was the delhi government or the national government or both or both both of them both, huh? both of them prabhu ji yes amazing and where did you have uh, some infrastructure for this before also like hmm. no prabhu ji we had no infrastructure we created there and then we reserved this park we took the permission that we want to cook they said yeah yeah permission is there please go for it and then earlier we were doing it in a small setup uh in uh, one basement a uh, setup but this uh, but, but the way the demand was coming so it started with 2000 and 5000 and gradually it reached 5 lakh 16000 so then entire park was there uh, where we used to we we had the sheds and then cooking was happening offered to lord jagannath so that people may have prasadam of lord jagannath oh okay and uh when we did all this this was uh, for you said it's still going on so this has been going on for how many months then like that yeah bro since uh, wave one it is happening it is going on prabhu ji now because uh, people have this image people know that in case you are in delhi and you get covid you must go for iskon so that's why people uh, know this so, so uh, in fact the delhi government they appointed iskon dwarka they uh, they gave the tag as mother ngo so we got the tag from the delhi government 
so that people may be inspired to give donations as well because uh, we were spending around 80 lakhs to 1 crore rupees every day because each plate cost us around 20 rupees including the fuel, the ingredients, the cooking, the transfer, each plate costs us around 20 rupees. So 5 lakh multiplied by 20 makes 1 crore. So every day 1 crore rupees were being spent. So in fact, we we uh, we, uh, we were in, uh, we had to borrow, we were uh, in debt. Some of the vendors, they were saying, oh, when are you giving us money? So somewhere we are, we are still, we are to give money. Uh, 4.5 crore rupees, 7 crore rupees, 10 crore rupees, 3 crore rupees. We are giving them gradually the money. Okay, sir, donations are coming. Please be here with us. So, they, But they know that ISKCON is an organization which we, we trust. We know that donations are less in number, but they are spending much more. So they also gave that, okay, you take it, but give us money. Say, yeah, we'll give. We are still paying them money. 5 mm -hmm. lakh rupees, 2 lakh rupees. But uh, the debt is off. In, it's in crores, actually. We are still in debt. But they know that okay, money will come. So, but we had to do that. We had amdani uh, atthani kharcha rupee, as we say in Hindi, that we had less of donations, but more of expenditure. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. This is extraordinary. And uh, do you do you have a written report of all this where devotees can read, uh, or viewers can read about this? Because I had an, an understanding of the outreach that you are doing, but the scale, I had no idea. Yes. So, I think it, it should be there Roji, with, with my temple president. It should be there with him. No, but this is something which is worth uh, like having some articles written about it and you could publish them back to Godhead and other places also. Yes, yes. So something so remarkable. We, we, we did this, Roji, or we, we posted some of the videos on YouTube because people are nowadays primarily on YouTube. Yes, yes. So uh, many of the videos were being posted in between whenever, whenever we are cooking, we are, we are packing it, we are distributing it. So we, we made many videos Roji, in between. So media also got in media. We gave, we got, we got a lot of very good coverage because in Delhi, 90% of food was being distributed. More than 90% was being done by ISKCON actually. Mm. Udwaras and other organizations, they were also doing no doubt, but, uh, uh, but 89, 90% was being done by ISKCON. Mm. Of course, social media means YouTube. It's good. I have seen some videos also, but still I was not aware of the scale. And this is something which needs to be preserved. So, so sometimes I was, we discuss this topic because we talk about humanitarian outreach and yes. expression of compassion. Sometimes it, it leads to, it, we sometimes have a very, again, one thing into everything. <laughs> in my, see, in one sense, Prabhupada's or in our tradition, yes. the, if there has been some criticism of uh, social, of humanitarian work, it has it has to be very carefully understood. Oh yes, it is not criticism of humanitarian work. It is criticism more of humanitarian work as a replacement for devotional service, Absolutely. Like a, as a superior superior substitute for devotional service. Absolutely, yes. So if it is, in, but otherwise, it's like this is this is humanitarian work. This is devotional service. Uh -huh. If you say that this is humanitarian work, you do this. No need to do this. Yeah, that is where it's a problem. Yeah. But devotional service can be expressed through humanitarian work. Absolutely. And humanitarian work can also be a pathway to devotional service for people. Yes. Yes. So that these two dynamics often we don't talk about this. Yeah. So this is wonderful. And uh, so this is my understanding of how you from, because from what I saw is that you also been it's been prasad distributed, not just food. So did you or any of any of the members in your team had some reserve, reservations about doing this? No, because no, no, uh, no, like in Dwarka, we live, we live like family. So whatever comes from authority, Pradumna Prabhu, we trust him. We know that he's very selfless soul. He's very intelligent mm. as well. He's really blessed. So that's why there was no resentment, uh, no opposition. We said, yes, in case that's opinion. Okay, let's go for it. And mm -hmm. uh, so that's why everyone was working like a family. Of course, primarily congregation devotees were involved. Brahmacharis were doing some kind of some back end seva. Like for example, say some inventory stuff, seeing the inventory, okay, how much stock we have because such big level cooking is happening. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing. Of course, and we see that everything, and like sometimes, of course, we, some of the people, they criticize, you know, it's, it's, it's a mundane work. Uh, it, it's not really very spiritual. So I used to tell them, you know, everything and in the beginning is like mundane. Like our Japa, when we chant Japa, not that, you know, from day one, there is ecstasy, my hairs are standing on, and that doesn't happen on day one. Even when people see the deities, they see more of marble. 
later on they realize that yeah no the lord is there present there so that's why everything has got in the in the beginning that's more mechanical that's not that may not be very divine right from very beginning but we should see that everything is it starts like that only whether even having prasadam in the beginning we take prasadam more as rasgulla paneer uh, pizzas later on as the person evolves in consciousness he is able to see the divinity in the prasadam so gradually it 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 was so similarly it goes for compassion as well sometimes we discourage devotees no don't show compassion on mundane level show it on divine level spiritual level so it has to start on mundane level somewhere hmm. and in case if the heart is not soft what kind of bhakti is this you know if i am not moved by seeing the suffering of the of other people what kind of bhakti am i doing actually like i i i remember one of the anecdote uh, from uh, radhisham prabhu ji one person came to him and he said you know i want to join full time and then prabhu ji asked him well, what's the qualification you have that you want to join full time he said well when my wife died i did not shed even a single drop of tear i said okay mm. that means you are emotionally bankrupt what kind of brahmachari would you become because you are emotionally bankrupt so uh, sometimes on the name of this not showing mundane compassion we somewhere some showing that we are emotionally bankrupt if i'm emotionally bankrupt how can i offer emotions to god because i am bankrupt what can i offer so that is if even if it is on mundane level but that is mixed with spirituality as well because there is chanting hari krishna there is prasadam there is uh, there is bhagavad gita as well creating goodwill in like in some of the government sectors they people are so welcoming now they say oh you are those is is con people who distributed prasadam during the time of covid you know my wife all was also having covid and they help us like for example if i have to go for janmashtami they say yeah yeah please where are the papers sign good job done so in this way we get a favor from the government authorities as well for any kind of devotional uh, favor which we want so mm. so overall it was it was very good actually so somewhere it starts on monday level all things happen and gradually it evolves into more spiritual more divine and spiritually intensive yeah you know it's a, it's when we have to analyze things yes. we could put it in some one way that rather than simply looking at the content of what is being done yeah we'll also look at the context in which it is being done why is it being done and what is the result of doing it yes. so it's not at the same action everywhere will have the same results absolutely yes for some people they may do a philanthropic work and they may have no interest at all in anything spiritual yes yes so i remember one organization i read on poster you know they were like double code there god sends disasters we send relief Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> so that is uh, that is completely atheistic not just atheistic but yeah. anti antitheistic. Yeah. Hmm? So so the content of what one is doing is important but the context why are we doing it and what is the result? Yes. So why we are doing it is because we want to we want to assist people at every level we want to serve and help people at every level yes and as you said the connection will happen usually it will happen at the bodily level yeah that's and true. from there it will move to the spiritual level yes yes you cannot say that i care only for your soul i don't care for your body <laughs> absolutely <true. laughs> yeah and as you said the consequence and also is important see, our acharyas also done this like uh, shila bhakti sanat sarsha prabhupad he would distribute food he would even ask today prasad was okay but the salt was okay Uh, like we are uh, we read in this bhakti siddhant vaibhav by his lord mm. pas maharaj he used to do this prasadam distribution he would even ask you know was prasadam okay you liked it so mm. he would ask and shri prabhupad also when he was in new york he told the devotees distribute prasadam at that time 200 people would come these hippies and different people they would come and they would have prasadam and then in the various on various levels shri prabhupad said we should distribute prasadam like this food for life started with this thing uh, when there were some boys some some old people they were they were licking the plates in mayapur dham and then shri prabhu looked from his window and then he said from 10 kilo in, in 10 km radius of his con temple nobody should go hungry so that means he actually cared for distribution of prasadam like in africa this is how we connect there are people who are poor and uh, we give them prasadam we make them chant hari krishna in africa this is how preaching is happening like in kenya mombasa many other places people connect because we give them prasadam and make them chant hari krishna mm mm-hmm. so here there is uh, the two things over here that we would like to make sure that we are giving spirituality uh, along with our sharing of uh, our sharing of some like food and other things 
Yes. But at the same time, it is not that we are making it conditional. Yeah. It's not that if you don't do this, we will not give you this. <laughs> the prasad is given to everyone because everyone. sometimes yes, yes. there is this. Uh, there is there are now Christianity is also very big and Christians convert in different ways. Mm. One of the ways is that they they have education and then they challenge mm. you and they convert. But at a, at some level, they try to convert people by giving them material benefits. Mm, yes, mm. but that is quite conditional. You know, you come to our hospital, and then you get converted over here. Yeah. So, so you can take treatment and get converted. So our purpose, in one sense, is service. Service. And we we provide facility. If people are inspired, then they take it up. Yeah, absolutely. So it's not so much that. Uh, so we could say humanitarian work is an expression of ours. Ultimately, bhakti is a matter of reciprocation. Yes. So we are expressing the devotion and the service that we are having because of our mm-hmm. our tradition, our our tradition, our Baha Bhakti, and then the way people want wish to reciprocate, they can reciprocate. It's not that yes, we are expecting absolutely. or insisting or demanding something. But the good thing is that people. Yeah. Yes. 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 You are saying something good. But thing? the good thing is that that we were distributing uh, prasada to uh, yeah, Prabhuji. I was saying that we were distributing prasada without asking their religion. We are giving to everyone, and mm. even there were Muslims also. They were chanting Hare Krishna because you know my wife is suffering from COVID. I give them prasadam. So when we say okay, everyone say Hare Krishna, they would also say Hare Krishna. Even some of the e-rickshaw walas, they were Muslims and they were distributing prasadam. And used to have for all the e-rickshaw walas, we would have okay, let's do kirtan. They would also do kirtan. They would dance with the devotees naturally, not by force. They could say that yes, we are doing good work. So even other religions people they also appreciated this this thing because. At the end, you know, when somebody is suffering, then all this uh, missionary thing it it it, it goes. And yeah, we are serving humanity selflessly without demanding uh, conversion. We convert people from materialist to spiritualist, as you mentioned in your in your books as well. We convert. We are also convert people, but not like from uh, from a here from a Christian materialist to a Hindu materialist. Not that kind of conversion, but from materialist to a spiritualist, that kind of conversion. Of course, we do that, but that's on different level. Mm. That too, we don't enforce. We don't uh, push it. Push people to do this. We inspire them. That the max. So, <clears throat> when when did this uh, out this outreach? Has this also, in one sense, this happened at the more or less same time when you are doing online outreach also? Oh yes, obviously. This was in parallel. This was happening. So, temple president was doing food distribution. And temple vice president was doing Mahabharat and Ramayan Katha. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing! So, <laughs> mm. so these things were, were happening in parallel. Probably. Yeah, one of the fears over here is that that once we get involved in uh, humanitarian activities, that our energies may get diverted there. But you can clearly see that was not what was happening. In one sense, yeah, yeah. you were you were doing a outreach. In fact, your outreach was also expanding in a substantial way. Yes, and. Was there some kind of bridge, or that also naturally happened? Like people who were treated, help during COVID times, they would also inquire about, and they joined your courses. Joined oh, yes, the- yes, probably. Okay. Of course. So people come there because uh, as you become healthy, then they become connected to ISKCON, and as they go to ISKCON, and they type any topic with the name ISKCON, then by somehow Krishna's arrangement, or by uh, of course by Krishna's arrangement, the the engine. Highlight some of the videos of our response videos, whether my video or Gaur Gaur Prabhu's video or Radhanath Maharaj's video. It would it would pop up. So then they start seeing it, and then they start getting connected. And once they start seeing the video, so they they also see the course that the strip is running at the bottom. Oh, okay. So then they also list. Yes, this happens. Prabhuji. Our our counseling uh, 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 number that is also helping people. So they can they can they can contact us, and then we do some basic counseling, and then make them chat Hare Krishna. Mm-hmm. In case somebody wants the counseling in in he in, in French, so we would give the number of the devotee in France. That here is someone who is they are connected to your temple, uh, who who is in who is in France. They can so you can address him. So in this way, this counseling thing is also happening. In why would somebody want in France? Is there is there people, French travel tourists in India or people in France? It's any language can... actually. Oh, Let's just give the example. Somebody okay, okay, okay. from South India, somebody from North India, okay, somebody okay. needs some counseling in Punjabi. So we have got some devotees in Punjab. So you can talk to them. So in this way, we were also connecting people. So they they can uh, in their areas, they can contact them, counsel them, connect them to their local centers like that. 
Amazing. And currently, when we, so is this something which you are planning to continue on? Of course, the scale may be different, but the food, yeah. the secret, the food yes. outreach, is something you are planning to continue on. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Because of course, uh, uh, Prabhuji, our temple president, also has a desire. Also, Delhi government has uh, has given us this tag, Mother NGO. So yeah. mother has to remain mother. <laughs> mother can't retire from motherhood. <laughs> so is mother NGO like an official? A label Obviously. for a major organization yes yes yes, yes. those who are significantly contributing so uh they, they oh. get the title That's mother and you. so we'll continue being mothers distributing That's prasadam so and carrying them to chant Hare krishna as well if possible <laughs> actually sometimes when we get too caught in the philosophy the practical practical aspect of helping society yeah that sometimes gets lost Oh, yes. Mm. And we have to do this reason, Pibuji, if we want the Hare Krishna to become the world religion or the entire world accepts it, we have to take care of the people at all the levels. Yeah. And when we do that, then of course people will come. If we only present the esoteric part, then of course some very pious, very, very philosophical people would get uh, connected to us. But general masses, they are also waiting for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy. So we have to see how we can connect with them and then give them Lord Chaitanya's mercy. We have to do that. Yeah. Right, Bhakti Maharaj used to have uh, Kirtans on piano, using piano on radio uh, during his oh. times. Sometimes he was Bhakti Maharaj. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's given in Bhakti Samaraj. So he used to have, so uh, when somebody says, Amog Lila Prabhu, you have done innovation in that you free preach even from radio, Radio Nasha 107.0. Wow. I said, no, sir, I'm not the pioneer. Pioneer is our glorious Acharyas like Srila Bhakti Siddhanta, Saraswati Thakku Prabhupada. He did this preaching from radio. And there he allowed even Kirtan with piano, with some kind of Western instruments as well, so that people can connect to it. And that's so he used to do that. Yeah. Amazing. And uh, presently, uh, how, how much... Uh, so you see that this is a sustainable... A way of both doing, you could say, spiritual outreach as well as I don't want to use the material outreach, you could uh -huh. say humanitarian outreach. So yes. both are going on, and you feel the space you can sustain. Oh yes, absolutely, absolutely, we can sustain it because people are coming, people are getting connected, and they are they are they are ready to help. Although we are still running in debt, but yes, gradually that would be paid off. But that's mm. the way we are connecting to the society, and uh, so result is good. Falena parichiyate actions are judged by result. The result is very good. People are becoming Krishna conscious. They are chanting Hare Krishna. They are coming to the temple. Like when we open our temple in between, the footfall actually increased. So it's going very well. Amazing. And like taking a little broader picture, since you have been now involved more than 10-15 years in outreach at a very broad level also, what do you feel are the major challenges? What is it that stops people from uh, taking up bhakti hmm? or is there something more you would like to speak about the uh, your outreach during covid or something okay uh, I, I i i request many devotees that they should come to a social media platform because currently people are on social media where people are there we should go and address them there sometimes devotees they do not come in front because they say no prabhuji you know we should be humble so humble means we should stay in background. We should not go there, you know, popularity, fame, this, that. You would be spoiled, this, that. So firstly, uh, Srila Prabhupada used to say, one of the definitions of humility, he said, humility means becoming aggressive for Krishna. That's one of the definitions of humility, becoming aggressive for Krishna. So we should also become aggressive for Krishna and that is humbleness. Not always saying, no, I'm small, I'm insignificant, I'm fallen. Yeah, okay, yeah, done. Okay, that's a beautiful feeling. Apart from that, we should become aggressive for Krishna. So they do not come to social media platform. There are some great preachers. I'm like a small pacha, a small bacteria before them. But they can, they come and they can actually influence so many devotees. So somewhere I would request the preachers that they should also come to social media platforms and they should also address. If they do that, that will be very, very good. And of course, we may have, we may lack, we, we might be lacking in some skill. So we can learn that skill. Absolutely fine. We can do that. And we should also innovate. Sometimes there is a struggle between innovation and deviation. Whenever something new comes, then people would say, oh, that's a deviation. 
but that can be an innovation as well provided people are becoming krishna conscious and essential mm-hmm. principles of bhakti are not compromised that's perfectly okay like real like when i did bhagavad gita thing on white board setup when i'm writing also on the glass on what side there is a shloka of bhagavad gita so i uh, writing on onto the glass people appreciated a lot because i did a research that how are these coaching centers they are teaching their students hmm. because it's covid so one one setup which i got to know was uh, the glass setup which is a uh, light board setup so you write something onto onto the glass and you explain the concepts but whatever you are writing from that side would be actually it's it's a mirror image it would be like other way around so we used to make a video and then with the help of software create the mirror image so whatever i am writing <laughs> yeah. is now uh, it is more readable so uh, the projector is not on that side that side of glass but on my side so what i am mm-hmm. writing is also other way around the the text which is getting displayed is also other way around but now we make the video and we create the mirror image of the whole thing so now it is everything is fine and people they go they went through this bhagavad gita course and many of the videos have reached and the lakhs and lakhs of viewership reason being they saw first time bhagavad gita being taught like this so innovation we should also go for innovation like baksha mara he had the theistic exhibitions it was a very innovative idea actually and when uh, hiranyakashipu who is being killed by uh, by lord narsingh dev so uh, so he would tag absolute reality kills materialism a very innovative way of giving the message baksha mara was so innovative wow so that's why we should innovate more and more ideas and we have to pace up so that we can catch up with the, 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 this world and then we can give them krishna consciousness otherwise we would be there in our world thinking you now people are so materialistic they are not coming baba because there is so much tamas nowadays in kalyuga well that's that's the truth but somewhere we are to catch up with them to give them lord chaitanya's mercy so we are to innovate ideas mm, true now social media is uh, it's it's also at one level a very reductionistic vision to say that it is all tamas uh uh-huh. it, it is the the digital world is a reflection of the human world oh yes and the human world has sattva rajas tamas mm. and similarly there is also sattva rajas tamas over there it is up, depends on what we are providing there and what we are seeking there yes oh, it's yes. wonderful so you have been you are on all social media which all social media have you focused on well primarily i am on youtube and uh, but of course people take out clips from the youtube and they post on instagram and other platforms as well i personally mm-hmm. do not exist with my own id i only post my videos on on my ashray and then people people clip out they take out the clips here and there mm-hmm. like on i got i don't maybe 10 15 ids maybe on instagram and i all of them are fan made ids i have not made single one of them i do not exist on facebook my personally where i am checking facebook uh, i do not exist on instagram but there are people who are doing it on mm-hmm. different these different platforms so that's how it so it's more of the devotees who are spreading it and just giving my original content in my ashram but we also allow them okay in case you want to you are doing it all right as you said copyright means it's your right to copy <laughs> <laughs> wonderful like microsoft became so popular why because microsoft allowed piracy otherwise there are other uh, software operating systems as well like ibm has got and sun microsystem they have got very good um, um uh, operating systems but microsoft is so famous because it allowed piracy in the nehru place 50 rupees you get me windows xp and all these different versions of windows but through this piracy being allowed so it it, it went everywhere so somewhere we have to allow okay yeah copy copy <laughs> true wonderful and uh, regarding social media i feel that covid has in one sense made it uh, unavoidable for us to come online mm-hmm. and we need to increase our presence more and more yes so any practical tips you would like to give for those who would like to increase their presence one is of course the conceptual hesitation that is it name fame is it is that definition of humility is being aggressive for krishna is beautiful <laughs> arjuna was humble but he was shooting arrows <laughs> yeah absolutely bro yes that's mm. true so apart from that aspect of fame do you have any other concerns that i've seen that quite a few other devotees are also from delhi area are on youtube there is a, there are a couple of devotees who do these discussions uh-huh. on various uh, what is that satya i forget the name um uh one uh, shishartakam channel shishartakam yeah shishartakam that is from east of kailash that's from iskon east of kailash province yes mm. yes so 
a lot of devotees from there are already there isn't it in one sense so what would yeah. you like to you like to share something i'd like to oh, share with you some of the tips some of the things which i think we which we can do to do outreach some of the i i i noted down around 15 different avenues where we are not present where people are present if they if we do then we can actually greatly influence a lot of lot, lots and lots of people uh first is probably uh, uh short films you know short films are very popular on youtube uh whether it's the romantic short films or horror short films some suspense or thriller short films similarly we should also make some short films that would be very good like in back to god in magazine there is one very interesting uh, section which is known as how i came to krishna consciousness mm. so we make some short clips and how somebody came to krishna consciousness somebody was ten somebody was uh really struggling with himself and then how krishna consciousness has changed him so in this way small small videos it's like a drama thing it's a video like somebody is enacting mm. that role so in this way five that's a remark that's a very good thing it's just like there is netflix for movies christians have created something called pure flix ah oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what they say is there are family friendly movies over there family friendly entertainment without too much obscenity to without uh. without violence and excessive violence like that okay so is it's not necessary directly directly not that teaching bible but they are providing family friendly what you are talking about is exp- you know utilizing the utilizing the video media much more not just for direct classes but also for other things yeah that's so important yes yes so uh, we can make videos on say for example relationships on what points we have what conflicts and how they can be resolved videos on that drugs drugs is a very interesting uh, topic I mean, when I was when, when I was in Iskon East of Kailash, at that time I had the idea, but I could not really execute the idea uh, because uh, we saw the movie Matrix, uh, mm. and uh, so I had the I was thinking to make a small clip Maya tricks. So there, <laughs> you... <laughs> clever. <laughs> so uh, so mm. the one who is playing the role of Neo is actually the soul. Morpheus is Guru, and Trinity uh, is uh, is is Mercy. uh i i forgot the name of of the of the lady and then all these agents are lust anger greed pride envy illusion and ego and all that and then we can make a nice uh, video of uh, you know matrix so it can be my matrix maya tricks so these kind of some short videos they can be there which with same setup you know wearing black suit and all that and then some basic kung fu and but giving more of message of from the bhagavad gita so these kind of videos that they can be helpful that's one thing second thing i believe is that we should do dramas in college i remember when i was uh, uh, working outside when i was in uh, in iskon youth forum we used to have this drama god on trial and where mm-hmm. we uh, where one lawyer is showing that there is no god and the person and the, the lawyer who is a defender he presents that he had god that yes god is there so we did this in more than 200 colleges and the response was absolutely fabulous uh, because we are directly addressing atheism that's one of the misconceptions about spirituality so god and try so these kind of dramas we should do in college as this pandemic thing is thing is over so we should plan that like we did this drama on pk ka gk from your book uh, oh my god and pk ka gk so we took the arguments and logics and reasons from your book prabhu ji and we made the drama and we did that in some of the colleges so that would also be very good in connecting to the students third is that prabhu ji um, participating in college fest if possible like here we used to have rahagiri it's from times group rahagiri where uh, the road is blocked for 3 hours from uh, 6 am till 9 am and then on the road people can do yoga exercises and people come so they used to do kirtan and distribute khichdi prasadam and the response was really amazing actually amazing so many people were coming to our temple just because of this thing and then uh, fourth is as prabhu ji uh, prasadam for the students sometimes we also do this that in the colleges we just have prasadam there is no program no kirtan uh, no lecture as such we just have on say saraswati puja on saraswati puja day we have got some nice pizza party for them or say chola bhatura for them and then we interact with them while they are having prasadam and we take their contact numbers and details and all of that and then we invite them for for the sessions so that is also what we can do because in colleges we see that mess is actually a mess <laughs> in terms of prasadam it's a very messy we, they don't like prasadam the the food at all so we give them prasadam delicious prasadam in this way we can connect to the youth as well fifth is that probably food chains we should also have some food chains some restaurants like in italy we have got a, a restaurant known as vegetarian meat shop which is run by devotees actually and it tastes mm-hmm. like meat but it is all soya 
basically it's it is vegetarian mm. so that this so this is also one more avenue where we can connect to the people we can give them pamphlets about what 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 we are doing like i know many of the iskon temples they have not registered with swiggy and zomato if in case somebody is booking an online food why not from govindas uh by krishna's mercy we have got one of the best govindas in delhi and cr people come even from ncr areas uh, all across they come to iskon govindas and dwarka because here we have very good cuisine so and we are registered with zomato and swiggy so people take lots and lots of unique items from from govindas and we we can tell them you know, it, it is from iskon dwarka even we advertise this in the airport as well that somebody wants to have prasadam we would supply you in airport many people they they do this booking so oh, wait a minute sorry uh, just, sorry just a minute but sorry. about govindas when i had come to dwarka i don't think govindas was constructed was it there at that time no bro we recently started of course around um, oh. yeah couple of years back but and it now, has already become one of the best is it oh Delhi? yes bro ji absolutely amazing people are from punjabi bag east of kailash they say well we will have our celebrations in dwarka because govindas is awesome and awesome there so oh. but we have we we got very good cooks here of course professional cooks who were earlier working with itc hotel but now they are here they chant six rounds every day the chief cook he chants 22 rounds every day and then they start their cooking so we also ensure their spiritual advancement not just you know mundane cooking with uh, with good taste apart from that we try to bring the spiritual taste as but there, but there's also a way we connect to the people through swiggy and zomato people can book some of the delicacies from govindas six is prabhu ji uh, like uh, uh, we should go to societies and uh, deliver sessions which are quite connected to the like in india it can be uh, art of parenting stress management anger management relationship sutras in the west it can be about reincarnation uh, like your book demystifying reincarnation is absolutely fabulous prabhu ji so anybody who is from christian background when he comes to see that there is a scientific description explanation about reincarnation which is not explained in the bible then actually they can it could it would actually probe a person to inquire more mm. so there can be such programs we organize in the west de- uh, demystifying uh, reincarnation and your book is like a bible for reincarnation so many beautiful case studies and wonderful reasons that actually it, it exists like uh, jay patanga maharaj books vanity karma it's again a very good book jay uh, maharaj jay yeah, yeah. maharaj vanity karma so it actually takes that those questions which are not being answered in bible they are beautifully answered in the bhagavad gita mm. so they are, they they can be these kind of sessions in the west we we have like in some of the societies and we invite people and some people would come yeah and this way, so these are some of the sessions which can do which can do we can do in the west so that we can we can connect with the audience mm. and then seventh is prabhu ji uh, we should have books in the schools like in uh, in india we have uh, values of life by ajit govind prabhu who is in iskon east of kanash mm. all these uh, who are um, Uh, who are favorable for hinduism like ba, ba, uh, uh, saraswati bal mandir these kind of rss schools they are very welcoming and this way lakhs and lakhs of children they get values right in their school itself so we should also uh, do this kind of uh, getting into the education grassroot level mm. so we should not wait that one day they would come to us no we have to go to them because it's kalyuga the thirsty would not come to the well the well has to go to the thirsty so that's why somewhere we have to get into the school education in fact we went to in the we met with the chief minister of up he also helped us to some extent that he allowed our books values of life in the schools like in colleges now we are running this course bhagavad gita and we have just started because we give the reference from i am samdavad where i go there as a visiting faculty to teach uh, leadership from bhagavad gita so we show that letter that yes when i am samdavad the number one management institute they are going for bhagavad gita uh, so why not you so some of the colleges nearby uh, they have uh, they have also accepted it we proposed them the syllabus as well and they were very happy with that so we have to go into this education we we should not we should not wait that there would be some revolutionary change and then we would start doing something but yes at college level and school level this can happen probably eighth is that we should also hold some spiritual competitions and where the test is very easy but there is more inspiration so that they can go for a book and then there is a multiple choice question and then some prizes can be given in this way also we connect to the students probably ninth is of course uh, we should uh, make lots and lots of videos especially your website probably contains such rich content it is unparalleled amazon prime videos uh, on these hoot uh, z all of these different platforms are there 
a Disney hot star. So there we should have some kind of web series, maybe just three episodes where the doubts are being cleared. So for example, say somebody ran and then uh, uh, from the police and then he gets into the devotees and then asking questions and then he some some kind of little adventure and then mix of adventure and then uh, some uh, confusions being resolved through those web series that would also be very effective because people are on these uh, uh, OTT platforms. So web series yeah. means it is not like normal classes or more like a film. Here. What will we have films. on web series? Films, probably films. Yeah, that's why I just give you the script. There is a thief. He ran away from police, okay, okay. and then he mixes with the with the sadhus, and then he has got uh, his mm. doubts and questions, and they are being answered. Gradually becomes a a devotee. And so these kind of some kind of basic script can be there. So mm. just in uh, maybe there can be a movie as well. You know, we have got movies like PK and Oh My God. Why can't we have other around the, the other aspect where we use the movies and presenting the spiritual concepts? Yeah, I'm sure in our even our devotee community also there will be. even devotees who are adept at making this if the content is provided the script is provided the technical aspect will not be that difficult to make of course yes. it requires commitment it requires finances also yes. but i think it can come up it's not yes. that difficult i think the content has to be there first yes yes prabhuji mm. so uh, so this 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 would, this would be very effective prabhuji like on netflix people are on netflix nowadays yeah uh, like some of the bookstores we i have not seen shripropas books like whs the whs smith is one of the very famous distributors of the books but in their stores none of the stores i have seen shri prabhu pass books so somewhere we are to see which are the famous distributors of the books there we should have shri prabhu pass books i went and i asked them do you have bhagavad gita as it is they don't have bhagavad gita as it is mm. so somewhere we should all already which are the spread out resources we should use these spread out resources which are already there we have to just place shri prabhu pass books that's it that's what we should do another thing which we should be doing probably is audio books like storytell is very famous storytell yes, when i yes. when i went to storytell there's not even a single book of shri prabhupad on storytell so we should get uh, on these platforms as well because when people are driving they want to listen books so we can yes. advertise as well uh, say introduction has been spoken by ajay devgan and rest of the book is being told by somebody else understood <laughs> introduction from some of the stars say uh, from say ajay devgan or akshay kumar in the west it can be will smith will smith he posted a video uh, glorifying bhagavad gita so will smith he just narrates the the introduction part the rest of the part can be done by some other devotee but we advertise that bhagavad gita introduction narrated by will smith julia roberts mm-hmm. julia roberts has taken to hinduism already we can do that so she would also narrate at least an introduction part or a preface part or some section of the gita or some other books uh so we should do this and then we advertise it as well that yes just see and so this here we are not doing the where people are there storytell is very famous people want to read books but they are, they are quite busy so they have their ear plugs and they are cleaning and all of that and then that narration is happening so storytell is also another platform where uh, somebody can do Preaching, especially those who are camera shy people, you know, to speak before the camera, they feel very hesitant. But they have got very good quality voice, a lot of clarity is there, and they they can narrate it whether in Hindi, English, or other languages. We do that, post it on these platforms like Storytel. Uh, some of the other platforms are also there, so they can go there. Like Spotify, like Spotify, Ghana, Sound, Amazon uh, Music. There is no Escon stuff there. people are listening to all all kind of things but over on these platforms very few like spotify i i heard some of the kirtans but uh, but yet yeah, but there is but there is so much of scope is there such melodious kirtanas are we we have so we should post uh, uh, our videos or our audios on these platforms like spotify gana sound amazon music we should do that and then uh, villagers villagers and tribes they should also be helped prabhuji like our uh, bhakti prashottam maharaj is already doing this in this direction i would request mm-hmm. other devotees also to join him because where do these missionaries they attack ultimately these tribal people because they are poor providing the facilities and then converting them if we would give them facilities things can happen there are people to give like through uh, csr corporate social responsibility we can make it corporate spiritual responsibility csr by getting the money and then giving helping these tribes and then giving them prasadam and they they chant hari krishna mm-hmm. like one of the uh, uh, villages we went and we preached about the chanting hari krishna next time when we went them went to them and we asked them how many rounds are you chanting somebody said 50 rounds somebody said 32 rounds somebody said 47 rounds and there was one boy he was crying 
and we asked him, "Why are you weeping?" He said, "No, I'll not tell how many rounds." We said, "Why?" He said, "Because I chant only twenty-five." <laughs> the one who was asking sixty rounds. This was where? This was where? Where was this? This is one of the village probably uh, in outskirts here in Delhi. So we went there, and then uh, it's more of a town kind of thing. So, but yes, it, so <laughs> amazing. Okay. <laughs> So they are simple people. So when we care for them, then we are, we can also approach them, Prabhuji, like that. And one thing which ISKCON is lacking that we do not do marketing at all. Some X Y Z some Swami Ji walks on the ramp, does a catwalk, and then so much publicity that Swami Ji had a ramp catwalk. But we have got such amazing festivals in ISKCON, and we do not advertise at all. We we are happy among us as yeah festival is done. Yeah, hurry, wall, hurry, wall. But we don't do uh, much of publicity. Like jungle and more, nature. Kisne dekhaye Hindi as we say. Uh, so what in the wilderness? So so usually mostly we are doing this. We are happy in our festivals, but we should also do marketing, whether in print media, social media, electronic media. We should do marketing or whatever you are doing. We are doing. We will continue to do that as it is. Just add one more thing, marketing, because Kaliyuga is the age of marketing. All bluff, mm-hmm. no stuff becomes very popular because of marketing. and we are all stuff no bluff but we do not do any marketing so all stuff and no bluff should also do marketing mm. so these are some of my 15 suggestions which i have for outreach uh for the devotees they would be engaged and they would feel satisfied they would feel mercy of lord nityananda prabhu because we are assisting him in his in his uh spreading of the mercy to the kaliyuga people getting them connected to lord chitanya to radha and krishna This is amazing. You're filled with ideas of what can be done. So it is said about Prabhupada that he had Prabhupada could engage the whole world in Krishna's service. He just wanted the world to come. <laughs> so, this is amazing. We need a could say it's almost like the whole virtual world is like a universe. Oh yes. And uh, it's there are different areas of the that universe which can be approached by. different regiments of devotees different devotees yes. taking up yes hmm so has your success on social media also inspired other devotees to take it up in in either in uh, in dwarka temple or in delhi or other places like yes that? yes probably, of course yeah yeah they are they are doing on different levels of course but uh, mm-hmm. uh, but, uh, but yes they are, they are they are devotees who are doing this because they can see that it is giving results people mm-hmm. are people are getting connected to us So if we, if I wait that you know somebody would come to my class and listen and then I'll make the person Krishna conscious, well the class which is attended by only fifty people, as soon as this class goes on social media, and then there is fifty thousand, so fifty, fifty thousand. In case you are popular, then five lakhs, one million, one single class like my uh, class on uh, Lord Shiva was attended by only fifty people in the in the class in the in Bhagavatam class, but that is like one point two million on uh, uh, on YouTube. So that's why we where where people are there, we have to go there, and then there are devotees who are taking it up. Wonderful. And it seems that uh, we broadly we'll conclude with this. In general, the uh, Hindi audience is it, we we hadn't tapped it so much, isn't it? It's in the last ten fifteen years it has happened much more. Yes. Uh, yes. After uh, after I think the Glory of India Temple came up from that time onwards. things have just uh, you could say i don't want to use that metaphor of exploded but they, they expanded <laughs> in an explosive way you can say uh-huh. so is there any reason for this you feel or is just that we had the devotees and we had uh, we focused the energy because in one sense our we we as a movement if you see it, there is a significant presence in bengal then mm-hmm. there is a significant presence in some parts of maharashtra yes if you see consider in india also we are not like very big in yes. various places yes so i would say bengal is probably the most because that's that's bengali culture is mahaprabhu's culture a lot of it yes. lot of it and then delhi it has happened is huge in the last uh, last two decades in yes. my understanding yes so, yes bro. absolutely any particular reasons you feel for that uh prabhuji one thing is book distribution the book distribution of course uh, his holiness gopal krishna maharaj has inspired us a lot and then of course mohan rupa prabhu ji who is temple president for uh, iskon east of kailash hmm. he he is really very very inspirational he is in a new avatar in the month of december especially so uh, because of his inspiration training devotees 
and Madhusundar Prabhu, who has been doing book distribution for past 20 years, distributing books on Delhi means uh, eating smoke, drinking smoke, smelling smoke uh, all throughout the day. In the evening when they come, when they spit in the wash basin, the spit is black because India is one of the most polluted cities in the world. We are maybe in the top five. We are there. So, uh, so devotees, they have really sacrificed. There's so much of distribution of the books has happened. And um, inspiration has been coming from uh, devotees like Maharaj and uh, Mohanubha Prabhuji. And of course, during this uh, COVID thing, of course, a lot of outreach happened. Social media on social media also, uh, ISKCON has become quite active. That's also one more reason, Prabhuji. Mm. So that's why it has increased. Actually, earlier we were not catering to one very major portion of uh, the, uh, the whole entire, uh, especially I would say in India. Uh, either we were focusing on hyper traditional people who are not who are not connected to technology at all, and then there is also very educated class. We are so English speaking edu- uh, intellectual class. We are catering to them, and there is also one very big percentage of Hindi speaking, and they are in technology as well. Hindi speaking class, which is a very big percentage. So somewhere this was not getting ad- addressed because either we were too traditional or we were being quite modern. But this, this is like semi modern. Uh, percentage of the people this was not getting catered so this when this started happening then it really expanded project true and so this happened in the last uh, last five, so five years i would say five years six years especially six years. okay happened. it's wonderful and uh, if you consider that way delhi is also the capital of india and yes. how much do we uh, how much do the do we connect with uh, people? Not we are as a moment are not into politics directly, oh, yeah. but just being in the capital city of India does that affect our outreach positively, negatively, or it doesn't make much difference? It doesn't make much difference, Prabhuji, because the sweet is sweet everywhere, whether it is in metropolitan city, whether it is in town. Uh, it is such a sweet philosophy. It is so complete. Mm-hmm. It makes so much sense. It has got the right kind of engagement. So that's why, of course, we may do packaging a little differently in different places. Mm. But essentially, everything remains the same. Prabhuji. Like we may not have Bhagavad Saptas. Bhagavad Sapta can be very successful in, in the town area, in village areas. It would be very successful preaching strategy. But in the cities, it should be, it could be, it can be seminars with more uh, modern contemporary scientific examples. So some packaging can be a little different. Uh, but otherwise, it, it is the it is, it is same Prabhuji. And ultimately, we see that you know it is a conviction of the preacher, which is very very important, because uh, we do not uh, communicate words; we communicate consciousness. So that kind, that conviction is is very touching. Like Alan Ginsberg used to say to Shri Prabhupada, there are many words, there are many things which Swamiji says I do not agree to, but when he is present before me, his presence forces me to accept what he is saying. <laughs> so that's mm. the power of clarity and conviction which Shri Prabhupada had. Mm-hmm. Yes, so because we- this world is actually, I'm sorry, Prabhupada. No, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was saying that this world is actually, as you say, survival of the fittest. Although the in terms of science, it is questionable. But uh, in terms of preaching, it really works. Survival of the fittest. The one who, who has got greater amplitude of conviction hmm. would eat up the conviction of the one who has got weaker conviction. So yeah. when we have more spiritual conviction, with that stronger, that would eat up the conviction of the person who is having conviction in sense gratification. Would eat it up. Actually, Prabhupada had greater conviction. Americans had conviction in sense gratification. Prabhupada had conviction in Krishna consciousness. But his was bigger. So, ate this conviction. So, this so this is very, very important part. And certainly, conviction comes from purity and maturity as well. Yeah, yeah I think he talked about how this, this sweetness of Prabhupada's personal dedication. Alan Ginsburg talked about that. That, you know, it's not that when Prabhupada's conviction was not that he's imposing on others. But just oh, yes. his, the sweetness of his dedication was disarming. Uh-huh. And Absolutely. yeah, you know about conviction, there is uh, one quote, the problem with the world is that the, that the wise are full of doubts and the foolish are full of convictions. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely bang on <laughs> bullseye. <laughs> absolutely true. And when we talk about, um, this is a good analysis that there is, if you consider our temples and deity worship, all this will attract traditional people. Mm-hmm. And we are attracted, and that is also a big demographic. And uh, the systematic college outreach 
which we do course by course or which yes. we are doing that is also important but when it is emphasizing philosophy a lot then it attracts a particular demographic oh yes but in yes. between yeah it's that people don't have to be uh, necessarily be english speaking to be good at technology there are so many youtube channels about reviewing for phones and devices there are so which are just in hindi and they also have a lot of views so people are into tech so yeah. in one sense you could say technology itself is their language yeah absolutely yeah so reaching out to people is very good and, and some of the media i'm sorry bol yes please no, no, go ahead and what you said earlier about delhi sweet is sweet everywhere you know i think prabhupad was asked when he came to africa what is your message for africa so prabhupad said my message for africa is the same as the message for everywhere else yeah <laughs> you, you know if you forget god you won't be happy yes, so yes. but my when i was asking about the capital we have also as a movement been able to connect with uh, with a lot of influential people in the political domain also in the recent uh, recent you could say months or years as compared yes. to earlier yes absolutely perfect yes we mm. have done that. yeah because uh, this program was very catchy for the bureaucrats the politicians uh, my experience is that when i meet any of the bureaucrats and uh, politicians when we go and meet them 90% cases 90% cases they do not let me wait they said oh somebody has from hari krishna has come they call us out of the queue just because of that rapport which we have made uh, because of this thing so yeah prabhu ji so bureau some of the bureaucrats and politicians they have also become favorable oh so the schools have become more acceptable because earlier on the name of being secular secular they were not allowing religion at all but now in many some of the schools they allow because you know it is a modi government here in india now yeah. ज वेल but they are absolutely very graphical very full of colors and pictures uh, very good action so i would request anybody who wants to uh, introduce this moral education so he has got this moral education filled with the essential teachings from the bhagavad gita he has got stories from other uh, uh, places as well like from bible and quran so that it appears to be secular as well but in case somebody just wants just absolutely hindu content those version of the books are also available so he takes the contract and then he does it and he does it very selflessly he's not getting anything for himself he himself is a dtu pass out from delhi technical university uh, being a btech so he doesn't he's not doing for money he's a, he's a monk he stays in a monastery in in, in the in iskon east of kalash so i would recommend his books values of life very good mm-hmm. presenting philosophies through cartoons uh, some sketches you know some exercises match the following fill in the blanks that's very good It's wonderful. So it's a diverse outreach with many devotees doing different things. Like I said, that started either the, the tide and the wave. So you, yeah. in one sense, you are you. One way is you are the wave, but there's a whole tide that is coming over there. Yes. Oh yes, yes. It's it's amazing. Absolutely. Absolutely. So maybe one last question here. If we consider Hindi in the broad, you this particular demographic which is attracted to technology, is using technology. which we can reach to social media so there is one feeling that because of social media people get very distracted today mm-hmm. and that and while that is true and I, there's a lot of distraction but at the same time i find that there are people also who are interested in a lot of quality content oh, yes. says, some of your videos are short but your yeah. lord shiva lecture that's not a small lecture and still uh-huh. it has a it has a long view so it's not yeah. i think it's not so much just having short content are necessary It is more that if good content is there, people will come to that good content. Oh yes. The oh, length yes. is not the most important thing. I think the quality of the content is the most important thing. Oh yes, Prabhuji, absolutely. In case the content is very good, people become hypnotized with the content, and then how this time passes, they do not even realize. Although we have got short, short videos as well, so that when you are walking, you can listen to it. Then those they are also there. But in case you have got some very good content, that even one and a half hour thing that people yeah appreciate like like Amrinder Prabhu he has got three hours lecture when he came to Iskandwar Khan he mm. spoke for three hours I told him Prabhu there is no time limit please 
So he glorified Shrimad Bhagavatam for three hours. And the viewership of that uh, video is somewhere around say, 7 lakh or 8 lakhs. 7 to 8 lakhs people, they viewed the entire thing. The entire three hours lecture. So somewhat sometimes when the content is very rich, people appreciate it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Although primarily we focus on short videos because when they are traveling, they can listen to it. Yeah. So we do That's that. True. Wonderful. So you'd like to add anything in conclusion through before I summarize? It's been wonderful. It's just, you know, how you say that the world knows that God is great, but in that tradition, we come to know how great God is. Yeah. So, so I, I knew that the Delhi outreach was wonderful. What all you are doing was wonderful, but how wonderful it is now. I come to know to some extent through the podcast. So that's wonderful. Anything including you would like to add? Mm-hmm. Yeah, nothing really. I think we have covered everything in my opinion. Yeah, but I'm very, very fortunate to be here and talking to you. It was uh, my good fortune actually oh. that uh, seeing you and then talking to you. It, it is my uh-huh. good fortune. And I could glorify the, other, the attempts of the other devotees. I could present some of the ideas which are there in my mind, but I'm not, I alone, I, I can't do. Uh, but yes, other devotees they can do because ISKCON is full of talented devotees. Yeah, so definitely. And not only ISKCON is full of, we can say that there are many talented people who want to do something good. And if they yes. have the channel, we provide them the avenue, they can also do it. That's also oh, there. Yes. Oh, yes, Prabhuji. And ISKCON is very wonderful organization, Prabhuji, because you know, there are people who are having their own psychophysical nature, their talents, their skills, and they get here. Here is a place where they can actually offer it to the Supreme Lord. So that's why I would request more and more people who are, whether they are part of ISKCON family or they are not part of ISKCON family, but they can certainly become part of our ISKCON family. They can offer their services. And you know, uh, sometimes people say, you know, why this evil is increasing? I tell them that evil is not increasing. It is a good people are quiet. So good people should also speak. Speak. Mm. Gigabytes and gigabytes and terabytes. We should speak out. We should do that. And then, of course, we should. when we do this, we will attract grace. Because when we give Krishna, we get Krishna. So one of the ways to become Krishna conscious. And preaching is a fastest way of self-realization. As Shri Prabhupada also used to say this. So everyone should, uh, at their own level, should try to preach. There are many, many avenues where we can educate people about Krishna. And when we do that, then we, we would get Krishna. So more we give Krishna, more we get Krishna. So we should give Krishna to more and more people uh, on various platforms. And then you would be blessed by Sri Rila Prabhupada, you'll be blessed by Lord Chaitanya, Lord Nityananda Prabhu, uh, because we are doing, we are being humble instruments of their compassion. So that is what we should try to do at whatever level we may do. The results are secondary. We should just get involved and do the service. Sometimes people become very anxious and you know, we, we should also become very popular and very famous, this and that. We should not get into that. But yes, when we sincerely try, then Krishna would take care of the rest of the thing. But when we maintain the sincere attitude, and then certainly Krishna would help us. And in case you want this, that the Hare Krishna should become the world religion, uh, as, as Nasir Damas has also predicted, then maybe we would be the primary contributors we can by Krishna's will. So, so certainly I would request more and more people to become part of preaching. That's very important. In my opinion, if somebody is not preaching Krishna consciousness, he is experiencing Krishna consciousness only 50%. So we must be preaching. We should not just live like a creature. We should live like a preacher. So, <laughs> so more than a creature, we should be a preacher. So we may preach through our behavior, through our dealings, as well as words. We should do that. You, know, you have a good way with even English words. You say Hindi is your home territory. But even English <laughs> is good. You are a wordsmith. I am your small student, Prabhuji. I am your very, very small student. I am just learning from you, Prabhuji. Nothing like that. It's been wonderful talking with you, Ru. I'll try to quickly summarize and then maybe you can add. Yes. So we started by discussing about your spiritual journey in the beginning and your journey within your services also. It's amazing that you already had a sense of gratitude towards God and wanted to do something for society, especially at the mental level, helping deal people deal with problems. And while we've heard many stories of devotees coming to searching out for searching out for something higher, it's your story is quite distinct that you in one sense left your education, found a destination, then came back to education and again came back to that destination. <laughs> quite distinctive. And then beyond that, so it's a, it's amazing that you started this channel about Hare Krishna TV was almost as you said, it was accidental that in Mayapur you started in 2015 and then 
it took off and 1 million subscribers within just two three years two yes yes probably like three years yes yes that's amazing and it's not just the fact that you are doing reaching a large number of people but also providing them a pathway to move forward toward krishna so do you have relevant content in the beginning which which relates with people practically which guides them practically in their lives and then from there give them um, this format of having reviving of the reviving values where you have live classes yes this is an ongoing course 30 session and then get them to more direct courses on krishna yes krishna consciousness that's a that's a that's i think one of the biggest challenges for us those who go into social media how to have a pathway forward so that also you have been able to do this uh, i feel this whole story of the outreach during the covid times using drones and everything <laughs> 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 that is a story which needs to be much more widely told it has been told but yeah. it's phenomenal <laughs> and we look at it from the perspective of not just we want to help people yes we are helping people but also that they come closer to krishna and others open their hearts to krishna whether the influential people in society in various places you know, maybe those who are not in india may not appreciate that point that you, know, you are not told to wait but you are allowed to come ahead in india's standing in queues life zindagi chali jati hai yeah <laughs> so to be given the opportunity to come not have to wait in queues that does indicate how how much we are respected and how much we are valued oh yeah that's, that's a true. very tangible parameter you could say parameter and uh, then maybe if you have made this 15 point list you know what we could do is you can send me the the uh, list and we will put that as a visual image or something like uh, that as a text sure. so that it can be read also by people and it's a very well thought out list with lot of creative ideas and not just creative but you can say creative and realistic ideas which could be done without we don't need a say to make short films or to make dramas we don't need a astronomical amount of expenditure for that yes yes it's possible sir. and if we can reach out to a large number of people so this is uh, in one sense not only are you doing well and wonderfully on social media but you are also you are created pathways by which or you have uh, ideas or outlines by which others can also do wonderfully on social media yes contribute sir. in their own ways yes yes and lastly we discussed about how the demographic which we are targeting if you are clear then there is a huge demographic who is hindi speaking but who is on social media who is tech savvy and yes. that was untapped yes. and as we right. tap it it is there are their peers but they are also tech uh, tech savvy so it's a huge audience which we can reach and uh, can take krishna consciousness to a much bigger level yes. so marketing is required as a small stuff there's stuff but along with the stuff we need we need to to reach out with the stuff yes, yes. wonderful talking with you bro any important points i missed out like no 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 everything everything perfectly fine bro yes yes everything perfect thank you wonderful talking with you bro hare krishna hey bro really blessed to talk to you bro yeah you are an inspiration for me and so many other preachers and devotees you are an inspiration thank you very much for coming in in our lives you are actually hare you know lord i say that people. many people will say that they are blessed to have you in their lives and i am i am i feel enriched you could say to understand what all you have been doing Okay. Thank you very much for joining today, Amul Lavru. Hare Krishna. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Bhuji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Then do it.